ancient command, mother, father, guru and guests should be served and honored as God. Today is a special and memorable occasion and I take up the opportunity to extend a warm and hearty welcome to Reverend Father Rector, Reverend Father Principal, Reverend Father Vice Principal, Reverend Father Bursar, invited guests, dear parents, teachers and support staff present in the auditorium today. This is a special and memorable evening that we will remember in the years ahead. We welcome the winter gathering and with today's program we will make an incredible mark in your memory. So we Shonipta Shattabadhar, Aditya Bodal, Ishan Ghosh and Archish Mandas on behalf of Don Bosco School Bandit join our hands, bow our heads and greet you. Swagatam, Swagatam, Swagatam. We are delighted to have you with us and are committed to providing you with a comfortable and memorable stay. Thank you. Choir are large families that promotes social bonding, which contributes to a sense of belonging and joy. Singing in a choir requires every member to do the part. It takes patience, focus and determination. Singing requires discipline and fosters commitment to the group. We have artistry excellence, musical independence, potential soaring spirits and the wholeness of young people. Now we have our school choir in front of you to welcome you wholeheartedly. So let's hear their song.
love for parents, there are no words to express it. There is a fantastic way to pay reverence. To our affectionate and adorable parents, they are venerable, worthy of worship. A day is to celebrated to express the same. This special celebration is celebrated every year in the form of rector's
performance. Now, I would request Shandipto Chattopadhyay, our junior school prefect, to deliver his welcome address. Good evening to one and all present here. I am extremely privileged to have this opportunity to welcome our very dear Reverend Father Rector and our dearest parents. On behalf of the Moscow School Band, I am very glad to extend a warm welcome to everybody present here. We are lucky to have you as our parents. We cherish your partnership and collaboration in our life. We treasure your love and concern towards our institution, which is our second home. We share our heartfelt gratitude for your esteemed presence. We warm-heartedly welcome Reverend Father Principal, Reverend Father Vice Principal, Reverend Father Bursar, invited guests, respected teachers, support staff, and my very close friends who have tried their best to show their programs in the best possible way and make this occasion a grand success. We seek for the cooperation of our parents to make this occasion a mega hit. This special day serves as a special reminder to express gratitude and affection towards a pillar of strength and support in our lives. Our beloved parents, you deserve to be honored every day. Once again, I, on behalf of Don Bosco School Bandit, greet you warmly for today's Rector's and Parents Day celebration 2023. And best regards, Shondita Chattavadhyay, 15 December 2023. for his welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and enthusiasts of vibrant traditions, today we gather to witness a spectacle that transcends cultures and embodies the spirit of unity, strength, grace and tradition. We now have the inaugural dance by our brothers of classes 3, 4, and 5. May this performance ignite our spirits, foster goodwill, and bring prosperity to all who witness it. So, let's enjoy the dance.
few words. Respected Father Rector, Father Principal, Father Vice Principal, Bursar, Dean of Studies, Spiritual Animator, and my dear parents and my dear students. It is indeed a great joy for me to be present in this August gathering of the Rectors and Parents Day. In our Salesian tradition, the Rector takes the place of Don Bosco and in a religious institution like Don Bosco Bendel, the Rector as the Secretary and Head of the Institution, together with parents, teachers and collaborators, run this institution according to the charism of our father and founder Don Bosco. So on this day, we also call it as a day of love and gratitude. When we show Father Rector, all our teaching faculty, headed by Father Principal, and the collaboration of the parents, that we would like to really show our love and gratitude to all the parents. I was just participating in one of the rallies and I saw one placard in which it was written in Bengali Bachara Rathno Korodadir Jotno Really, the children are treasures and we need to take care of them. And I think Don Bosco Bandel is committed to do this together with you parents we really want to see that they develop every way, spiritually, physically, intellectually. And this is what we are celebrating also as we are approaching the season of Christmas. Just I'd like to leave a message because in the program I also saw that Christmas is a marks the birth of Christ. Actually, it is a celebration of an encounter. Encounter between God and man and between man and man. So in this encounter, it brings us joy. And joy comes when we are together celebrating this Christmas and therefore it is not man-made but it is a great gift of God and therefore as we also prepare for this great celebration of Christmas let us once again thank God Almighty for this wonderful gift of Christ to the world so that he has come for everyone so that everyone may enjoy peace, love, joy and prosperity. With these few words of message, I would like to conclude my speech. Once again, I would like to remind everyone that Bachara Rathno Karata Dev Jotno. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. God bless you. This is the free morning announcement for flight 3728. We are now inviting those passengers with small children and any passengers who require any special assistance to begin boarding at this time. Please have your boarding pass and identification ready. Regular boarding will begin in approximately 10 minutes time. Thank you. Good evening to one and all. Hope you are having an amazing time. Well, I will make it worth your while. I am going to take you on a splendid journey across our incredible India. So fasten your circle and we are ready to take off. Time to unfasten your circle. As we are about to land in the beautiful and glorious state of Tamil Nadu. It is famous for its temples, festivals and celebrations. A 
of the arts. Why don't you let me show you what else it is famous for?
you don't want it to stop. So let's go jumping through the beautiful state of Assam.
for today. I am both aesthetic and sad. As our extraordinary journey ends here. But I won't delay the fun any longer. As I am about to take you to a place famous for music, dance, festivals, Bollywood and much more that contributes to this lively culture. It's Maharashtra. Dear parents, this is only a stop gap. We are having a wonderful time and I wish you all that we continue to have a wonderful time. A very good evening, honorable guest of honor, Mr. Sandeep Singh, the parent representative, respected for the provincial, for the principal, for the vice principal, for the bursar, solutions, the members of the teaching and non-teaching faculty, students of the primary section, parents, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen. It is a unique privilege for me to be honored and to stand here to address a few words on the occasion of the Rector's and Parents' Day 2023. Don Bosco Bandel, a branch of the worldwide Don Bosco institutions that follow the educative principle of reason, religion, and loving kindness propagated by the 19th century educationist John Bosco, popularly known as Don Bosco, aims at forming through an integral education God-fearing human beings and responsible citizens who are useful to their parents and the society. We believe that education is a matter of both head and heart and it is a shared commitment between dedicated teachers, motivated students and enthusiastic parents. Dear parents, this project of life building, mind making and character forming requires a strong partnership between home and the school 
which will de definitely make a significant difference in your child's education. It is only through a close collaboration that we can achieve our goal of producing responsible world leaders and sensible global citizens. As a parent, you definitely want the best of, for your child and we are proud to be working with you to ensure that your kids are given the right knowledge to face the future challenges. In this context, the partnership and the collaborative action that I am talking about are very crucial. Both you and I have a great role to play in this upbringing process. Today, the challenge that we in the school administration face is not so much the lack of resources, nor the lack of intellectual caliber. Rather, it is something much deeper. It is at an ideological level, at the level of motivation, at the level of interest. We come across parents and guardians who are at a different wavelength. We meet parents who are genuinely concerned about the integral development of their children. And sadly, we also come across parents who are least bothered about what is happening to their children. Dear parents, it is here that our partnership is crucial. It is here that your positive cooperation is very essential. Just as you plan for the, for the future of your children, we also sit together on a daily basis to explore various possibilities of making our teaching process up to date and the entire education more relevant. I am proud to confess today that this is the hallmark of education at Don Bosco School Bandel. We believe in a pragmatic approach. We teach our students to admire the beauty of nature along with the assimilation of theories and principles. We involve them in sports and games, in arts and culture, so that keeping their feet firmly grounded, they can soar high. This afternoon, what we are witnessing is only a tip of the iceberg, a mere glimpse of what our children can do if they are rightly guided. I would like to express our deepest appreciation to Father Principal, Father Vice Principal, the teachers of the teachers of the primary section for the tremendous efforts that they have put in to create an atmosphere where learning takes place, where growth is possible. Dear parents, we have gathered this evening to celebrate the invaluable bond that we share between home and school, to celebrate the gifts and talents of our children. Let us therefore put our hands together for our children, the primary school teachers and for the vice principal for preparing a wonderful entertaining evening. They have done a commendable job in involving the entire primary school. That is 1,045 students participating in this event. Before I sign off, I would like to re-emphasize dear parents that your unwavering support, dedication and encouragement contribute immensely to the growth and success of our children. Finally, wishing you all the love, joy and peace of Christmas and continued blessing of God in the new year 2024. Have a pleasant evening. May God bless you all. Unity represents togetherness. Unity not only gives us hope and motivation, it also brings a change. Unity is essential.
for a healthy, productive, and successful society. Now, we have class two upon the stage with a vibrant performance that is a wonderful blend of grace and energy which portrays the essence of unity.
to our students. And to the parents who form the most important persons in the lives of our children. It gives, gives me immense joy to share with you some aspects of the school during this last one year. This report consists of two parts. The first being an audiovisual part and the second only being a, a visual part. Our school is 46 years old and much sought after in our locality and in the district of Ugli. For the holistic education, it is able to impart young people who come to the hallowed threshold of this institution. Don Bosco School, Bandar is a Catholic school subscribing to the vision of the Catholic Church. We seek to form the young through education into men of character, competence, conscience, compassion and commitment who will foster uprightness in public life. St. John Bosco, popularly known as Don Bosco, is our inspiration and we consider him as our father and teacher. And following the pedagogy of St. John Bosco, we practice and propagate his ideals of reason, religion, and loving kindness. Consequently, the immediate purpose of the school is education understood in its larger context. Values to live by a life guided by faith in God. Respect for the person with a strong sense of justice. In an atmosphere of discipline where learning and intellectual development take place. In the promotion of study, inquiry and research leading to a specified, specific and recognized examination, namely the ICSE and ISC. Don Bosco School is a caring community and at the center of learning is a student who becomes the center of the life and activities of the school. The school accompanies the student in the period of growth to self-realization, in healthy interpersonal relationships, conscious of his own national heritage and values. Don Bosco summed it up as to make the boy into a God-fearing person and an honest citizen. Our school is currently administered by the following Salesian priests. Reverend Father Rector is Father Anil Topo. Reverend Father Sibi, the principal. Reverend Father Francis Warakan, the vice principal. Reverend Father Matthew Pudupul, the bursar. The other members of the Salesian community are Father Clement, Father Jose, Brother Chakro, and Brother Sudhir. A teacher affects eternity. She can, she, he can never tell where his or her influence stops. Every child deserves a companion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the best they can possibly be. If we have to put someone on a pedestal, put the teachers, they are society's heroes. Meet the heroes of our primary section. Education is not filling a pail, but lighting a fire. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Meet the men and women who are in the job of lighting the fire 
in the lives of our senior section students. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Meet our silent and committed back office staff. Thanks for your commitment, often unseen and unrecognized. All the labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. Coming to our school, we behold an immaculately clean campus and the credit goes fully to our dedicated support staff who take pride in the fact that we have a very clean and good campus. We are grateful to Mrs. Mekula Chakrabarti and Mrs. Rina Roy who accomplished long years of service at Don Bosco School Bandon. They have taken leave of us during this scholastic year. Thank you dear teachers for that wonderful and caring way you went about mentoring our students and carrying out the Ministry of Education. I welcome to Don Bosco family, Shirley Paul, Sherin Salvador, Chaini Gadotto, Moon Mukherjee, all in the junior section, and Ipshita Banerjee and Shreyasri Banerjee, both in the senior section. Mr. Ganesh Amanda, Sunil Murmu, Jodi Orao, Prabir Sordar, and Cecilia Gomes in our Don Teaching Department. We wish you all long and fruitful service in the Don Bosco way in this institution. April 2023 saw a new page in the history of Don Bosco School Bandon. 157 students began classes in the upper KG on 17 April 2023. Excellence of Don Bosco School is acknowledged and appreciated nationally and internationally. In the ISE 2023 examinations, 154 students appeared. 34 students secured 90% or above. 53 students obtained 80% or above. 35 students got 70% or above and 32 students secured 60% or above with a school average of 80%. In the ICSE 2023 examinations, 174 students appeared in, and 69 students secured 90% or above. 41 students secured 80% or above. 33 students secured 70% or above and 31 students got 60 or above with a school average of 83 percentage. Congratulations to you dear boys for your commitment. Congratulations to you dear teachers for your commitment and the hard work of our students. Discipline is an outstanding trait of Don Bosco School. In this the collaboration of the students play a great part. The junior section is proud to have the following as prefect, vice prefect and house captains. I want to thank you dear boys for your leadership role in contributing positively to the smooth running of the school. We have a new look laboratory and well-stocked library with over 20,000 books. 
We have commenced artificial intelligence classes for classes 6 and 7. And we also have special classes for class 8 by way of film studies. Students of junior section are blessed with the introduction of interactive flat panels for every alternative classes so as to make the class, the teaching, more vibrant and mind capturing. An important aspect of our education is the systematic organization of value education sessions, moral science classes, and morning prayer sessions often animated by the students with the help of the teachers. These create awareness and expose the students to the socio-economic conditions of our society and build up the personality of students into caring persons capable of reaching out to the less privileged of the society. Annual day, rectors and parents takes the time to felicitate the students who are the toppers in our school in five subjects in ICAC and four subjects in IAC. In ICAC 2023, the award of excellence is granted to Nidavra Sinha, who secured 98.8 percentage. Let's put our hands together for him. And in ISC 2023, the award of academic excellence is granted to Tomogana Chaudhary, who secured 98.75 percentage. Congratulations to your boys and keep up the good work that you have begun. They are not able to be present in school today, but Tomogno's parents are here. They will receive the, the memento as well as the uttiriyo, as well as the a bouquet of flowers and a check of 5,000 rupees as an award to them. Under the Christian Students category, under Christian Students category, Aditya Hazra and Arman Michael Minch are felicitated for their excellence in ICAC and ISC 2023 respectively. Groups and movements are integral part of the school life. Students of our school take great interest in the various group movements. The various groups are young Christian students, leadership training service, Boy Scouts and club, Cups, the science group, the music club, the literary group, the social service club, the dramatic club, the quiz club, the sports club, nature club, photography club, friends group, arts club, and cyber club. Our boys get various platforms to celebrate the talents that they have through the instrumentality of these clubs. And they also take part in the various competitions inside the school and outside the school. My dear parents, staff of the school, thank you for participating in this celebration of the Rectors and Parents Day. Thank you above all for closely collaborating with us in all that contributes to the education of the young. I want to thank you dear students of the junior section who under the competent direction of Father Francis, the Vice Principal, and the coordinator of the junior section, Ma'am Sumana Roy, and the core committee of directors and parents day and the class teachers. The other teachers who have put in their best to make this day a vibrant and entertaining for all of us. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for all these people. I take this opportunity also to wish you all God's blessing. And may you all feel his comforting presence and guidance through all the days to come, particularly as we are about as we are at the threshold of 2024. I wish you all a very joyous Christmas and a hopeful new year 2024.
Thank you and God bless you all. Now we have the second part that is in the form of a visuals only, showing the various events that has taken place that have taken place during this scholastic year.
sad ever enter the door of the prince's palace. Everyone called him the happy prince and when he died the town built this statue and named it the same. The happy prince is built with gold from head to foot. His eyes are two precious sapphires and there is a big red ruby on his forehead. In this town, everyone loves the happy prince. At least, there is one truly happy man in this town. That's something. Hot buns, soft buns, for Jimmy, Johnny, Billy and John. Eat and have fun, my hot buns, my soft buns. Come, Jimmy, come, Johnny, come, 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 Billy, have some soft buns, hot buns, soft buns, hot buns, soft buns, hot buns. I can't understand why you keep crying. Why can't you be happy? A happy prince never cries for you. It's much too cold here. All my friends have left for warm Egypt. I too must fly. But tonight, I will rest in this unknown town. The shelter between the feet of this golden statue looks good enough. Oh, <laughs> 
strange. I am feeling warm. That happens when you do something good to help someone. Swallow, swallow, little swallow. Please stay with me for one more night. But all my friends are waiting for me. Tomorrow they are going to fly up River Nile to Luxor, far away in a little attic. I see a brown-haired young man. He is unhappy and poor. He is writing a play for the theater. Little swallow, take one of my sapphire eyes and give it to him. Dear Prince, I can't do that. Swallow, little swallow, you must. Someone likes my book a lot. Now, I can finish my play. I am here to say goodbye. I see a poor little girl in the town square. She has no shoes. Little swallow, please give her the sapphire remaining in my other eye. Impossible! I can't make you blind. Please help me. Little swallow. That's so nice. You are blind now. So I must stay with you always. But it's too cold here. Little swallow, if you stay, Fly over this land. Tell me what you see. I saw many unhappy and starving people take all the gold from my body and give it to the poor people. Yes, very ugly. <coughs> Take the statue of 
friends, live in the city of gold forever. kind of hands-on training. 
this is the, the uh, need of the time that our kids come out from the books and get these kind of hands-on training so that the education which they get in the school goes to them for, for life and this experience, the hands-on experience become their, uh, they, they get more educated, not only educated, they become more learned. So with this, uh, you have heard Father Provincial, Father Rector, Father Principal, that it is our duty now to come together, collaborate with the school, come to the school with the problems which you are seeing your kids, our kids are having. Uh, we should we should monitor their day to day class work which is there which they are doing whether they are uh, whether they are getting those points which is being taught in the school whether they are writing whether uh, the class the notebooks are getting checked and whether you you by yourself day to day you are seeing the progress happening in your kid and if it is not let the school take the responsibility I I urge as a parent that the, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the father principal will agree with me that he, he and all the teachers are putting their effort together to, 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 the best, to, to bring the best out of their students. So if as a parent we are facing any problem, it should be easy for us to come back to the school, discuss with the parent, discuss with the class teacher, discuss with the father principal and get the solution out of it rather than being uh, just self-dependent on some outside sources to, uh, to get the kids getting educated. When the kids are going out of the school curriculum or the classroom to get educated from anybody in third person, the, the, the kid is going outside of the system to get educated. The kids get confused, the kids get dependent on that third person rather than the school teachers to be educated. So uh, there are many, many uh, harmful effects of that which, which I am sure uh, all of you are also uh, reading and learning about that, that what is the, uh, how the school system works, how the education system works. So it is our duty to, uh, to not let the students get confused whether they have to learn from the school or they have to learn from somebody who is who is the third person and is going to come to, uh, to the home to teach them. So uh, it is my request as a parent that we should work in collaboration with the school so that our, our child doesn't get confused. They should know that they have to put maximum effort and maximum attention in the classroom when the teacher is teaching. They should be allowed to ask questions if they have doubt and I'm sure that this will, uh, this kind of education, if uh, the school is trying to put, uh, give to our kids, and uh, I'm sure that this kind of education will not only make them educated, but learn it. So let's pray that the next bhava or kalam comes out out of this community from this school. And with that, I again thank for the principal to give me the opportunity to uh, and invited me to speak in front of you as parent representative. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful words. You know, Mishan, if you read the ancient texts, you will come across a great character who is he, Aditya? Please tell me about him. He is none other than Lord Ganesha. He was the one who wrote the great epic Mahabharata, which was dictated by Rishi Vedas. But such long verses didn't his help pain while writing? No, he took some rest in between to understand what he wrote. After he could comprehend, he again began writing. In the meantime, Rishi Vyas found enough time to print the next verses. But why are we talking about all these now? Come, let us get down. We are elongating the show for no reason. Oh my dear friend, we shall watch how our brothers of class 4 have enacted the whole story of Mahabharata on the stage right now. Really? Class 4 boys? Will they be able to narrate such a vast story? They will, my dear. They have worked out and planned it all up really well. Now is the time of execution. So come. Let us sit back and watch our brothers performing on stage. I know our parents will enjoy a lot. 
So, let the show begin. Oh, 
आकर हो गए वीर धनुर्धर कौरव पांडव मिलकर करे समय का चक्र पार कौन लेगा अपने ऊपर हस्तिनापुर का भार सोच के एक दिन राजकुमारों के लिए गुरुदेव परीक्षा आप देखना है मिले है किसको ऐसी उचित शिक्षा पंची रखी पेड़ पर आप था लक्ष्य भेद राजकुमारों तय कर न पाए क्या था लक्ष्य अभेद सिर्फ अर्जुन को दिखी आ लक्ष्य को किया छेद गुरु द्रोम को अब रहा और न कोई खेद अर्जुन ही है विश्व के श्रेष्ठ धनुर्धर इतिहास में करेगा वो ऊंचा सबका सर
God has always lived. He had no beginning and he will have no end. There was a time when only God lived. Then out of nothing, by his almighty power, he created everything. Heaven and earth and all things in heaven and on earth.
with you. Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. You will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus.
for the great Christmas play. As the winter cold embraces us and the holiday spirit fills the air, your performance brought the spirit of love, hope and unity that Christmas stands for. Before we conclude, let us extend our heartfelt gratitude to all to make this even possible. I would like to invite Reverend Father Vice Principal for the vote of thanks. Dear Reverend Father Rector, Father Principal, and other fathers and sisters, and dear parents and well wishes. It is with a feeling of delight that I stand here to thank you all, especially you boys, for the way you have expressed your sentiments of gratitude to your parents, teachers, our director, our principal, and to your school. Gratitude leads us to express appreciation even for the smallest services received from God, family, parents, school, teachers, community, and the nation. I thank Father Rector for being the head of this institution and for being with us this evening, inspiring us with his message. I thank Father Principal for his effective leadership in this, in this institution and working tirelessly to inculcate correct values with justice to all the students and teachers. I thank Father Bursa for making all the arrangements in this hall and outside and for arranging refreshments for all the boys and staff. I thank Mrs. Sanjita Ganguly, one of the parents here, for being present with us this evening and for inspiring all of us with her talk. I thank the teaching staff, especially those of the junior section, who have worn themselves out because of intense practices. And in a special way, I thank the coordinator, Ma'am Sumona, and the core team consisting of all the class teachers for the special role in assisting teachers and children to prepare for this day, day's event. Special mention should be made of Ma'am Mona Lisa, Ma'am Mandara, Ma'am Monica, and Ma'am Sriti for their great effort. I thank the support staff who have been at work all over the place and that have begun call for all the hall and stage arrangements and other arrangements uh, in this campus. I thank in a special way the seminary boys who have been very helpful in and around the states. And lastly, and I thank Mr. Uttam and Surajit Paul for the decoration and other arrangements outside the hall and inside the hall and supply of snacks and so many other odd works here and there. I thank Mr. Sanjay Khalkum who has arranged for the lady screen and the photos. And lastly, I thank you dear boys who have been the center of all our activities these days. You have put in your best and you have made us all happy and satisfied. You have done what you have done with the brilliancy to accomplish the various performances of today. Well done. Good night and Merry Christmas to all of you.
brings us to the end of today's show. Until next time, this is your host, Ishan Ghosh, Ajish Mandas, Anitta Bora, and Shomitta Dr. Rathar, signing off.